I want to eat there someday. I, I honestly do. I would love to. Actually, I want to go to Jimmy's Seafood in, um, God, is it in Philadelphia? No. Anyway, Jimmy Hart's Seafood Restaurant. It's called Jimmy's Seafood. I want to say it's in Philadelphia. I could be wrong about that, but um, that's supposed to be a pretty wild spot with some really good seafood. Hell yeah. And he's got like a lot of memorabilia and, and whatnot, as you would expect. But if you want to eat at Hogan's Hangout, I recommend you get there soon because Pasta Mania didn't last very long. No, brother. <laughs> Major League Wrestling announced Monday that the weekly M- MLW Fusion show will be available on the Roku channel. This began on Wednesday, January 6th with the Kings of Coliseum major event. The 2021 MLW Kings of Coliseum event was previously planned as a pay-per-view but MLW decided to give it away for free as a special thank you to fans. Kings of Coliseum will then air on Be In Sports January 9th. Tomorrow, folks! Woo-woo! And yes, folks, don't you worry. We're going to have the results of all four matches of that major event later on in the show. <laughs> Pick it up, MLW. This is the second time you disappointed us with yeah. a special show. Why you gotta do that two times? Fool me right. once, shame on me. Fool me twice, shame on you. Or you could say it the, the George Bush way. Yeah. That's even better. I don't remember the George Bush way. Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, d- d- don't fool me again. <laughs> Somebody who isn't gonna be fooled easily, pasty, is Montel Vontavius Porter. Or... Montel Von Porter? Yeah, Spacey likes to call him Montel Von Porter. Uh, He won the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu World Championship in the 2020 World Master IBJJF Jiu-Jitsu Championship Tournament, which took place in Kissimmee, Florida at Silver Spurs Arena on December 19th, the day before the TLC pay-per-view, making that quite a big one for Porter. Uh, of course it happened in Florida. The only, that's the only place anything can happen right now. <laughs> MVP competes under his real name, Hassan Hamin Assad. How did he not use that in normal life? Nobody would ever feel that was racist. <laughs> uh-huh. I actually love that name, Hassan Hamin ha- Assad. I think, yeah, that's I think it sounds good. It sounds good. Um, but Vince doesn't know that's his real name because otherwise he'd be sure he as doesn't. a terrorist or something. Um, but anyways, he competes under his real name in the Masters GI, Master 4, Purple Division. He represents Gracie Barra Champions, which is based in Houston, Texas. So good for MVP. Not only did his team, the Hurt Lockers, win gold on the TLC pay-per-view that weekend, but he won gold in a legit fight. Which is better. weekend. Which is, yeah, which is better. <laughs> And he doesn't even get to wrestle in WWE. But he's That's kicking motherfuckers' ass in real life. That's such a shame. Uh, he's so good. You know who else uh, practices a little BJJ? Who CM might do that? Punk. I'd like yeah. to see these two tussle it in the octagon. Yeah, MVP would fuck him up. <laughs> the first, no questions. First ever UFC triple threat, MVP, CM Punk, and Jake Hager. There you go. And I still then Brock Lesnar cashes in money up. in the bank partway through the match. Brock Lesnar would win between those <laughs> four. <laughs> Not a question. Not a question. <sighs> he'd be like, uh, he'd be, he'd be like fucking Santa Claus coming down the chimney and just fucking tearing up the whole house. You know what I mean? Black City, bitch. As Santa Claus is so known as saying, he is. Maybe that was Dwayne Claus. Maybe. Well, however it be, Dwayne the Rock Johnson responded to a fan named Justin Abel, who asked for Rock to retweet his link to his eBay page, Nerdy Comic Books. Justin knows, noted that he was trying to raise some money to be able to provide his children with Christmas gifts. Johnson wrote back, "You're the kind of dad, and a, you're kind of you're this kind of dad, and a retweet is all you want." I'll have a bit more in mind for you. Stay ready. You're a good man, Jay. We need more like you. 
Dwanta Claus. Rock's tweet led to Justin appearing on the Some Good News show with John Krasinski. Woohoo! The widowed father of two was joined on the show by The Rock, who told Abel, You are what the holidays are all about. You embody the spirit. And I feel very confident I can speak for my friend John here in that you know the true measure of a man and true measure of a human being truly is always what's in their heart. Always what's deep down in their heart and their mana. Speaking of which, my mana tequila. (laughs) He also promised to take care of the Christmas wish list from Justin's kids and give them a visit to his set of the Black Adam movie from DC Comics. That's super fucking badass. That is really cool. That's, you know, God, you just never hear a bad thing about Dwayne Johnson. Ever, 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 right? Right. He's never had a scandal. He's never had a a videotape come out. And then he does shit like this. That's like he doesn't need to. There's no reason. He should have ran for president. I'm saying. I'm saying I'd vote for him. Mm Mm-hmm. Somebody else that I would vote for President Pasty is uh, former AEW Women's Champion Nyla Rose. But even though she didn't get the presidency, uh, she got another award. Of course, the OutSports announced that, or she, she almost got an award. OutSports announced that Nyla Rose was one of the nominees for OutSports Female Athlete of the Year. When Nyla Rose won the AEW World's Women's Championship in February of 2020, she became the first trans woman to win an award, a world title in a major U.S. wrestling promotion. Venezuelan triple jumper Yulimar Rojas ended up being awarded the Female Athlete of the Year. 11-time WNBA All-Star Sue Bird was also nominated. Outsports is a sports news website focusing on LGBTQ plus issues and personalities in amateur and professional sports. So big ups to Nyla Rose. That's pretty uh, pretty awesome for her being one of three nominated for this award. That is wonderful. In other news, WWE applied to trademark the term The Collective on December 15th with the United States Patent and Trademark Office. It is unclear what exactly WWE intends to do with the mark, but it's worth noting that professional wrestling already has The Collective in in use in the independent scene. GCW has used the name for the past several years to brand their WrestleMania weekend events, so it's safe to assume... This would be WWE's way, WWE's way of halting an established brand to try to reduce the amount of fans attending other pro wrestling events during their biggest weekend of the year. GCW has run the collective with some of the top promotions on the independent scene, including Black Label Pro, Freelance Wrestling, and AIW. The event has also become home to several specially themed and tentpole events like for the culture and Josh Barnett's blood sport. And Pasty, you uh, you so much pointed out that it's also the um, it's also the Nightmare Collective in AEW. Yeah. So they kind of have they could be Just double take double another shot. crack at taking down the Dark Order. You know, <laughs> right? It could be a double shot. Um, but. I will say that uh, GCW definitely noticed this pasty because just days after WWE filed for the trademark to the collective, Game Changer Wrestling also filed to trademark the collective, which they've used for for over the past two years. GCW made their filing on December 21st as opposed to December 15th, so they were after, but they listed their first use and first use in commerce dates as September 2018. The following use description was included, saying entertainment in the nature of wrestling contests, entertainment services, namely wrestling exhibits and performances by a professional wrestler and entertainer, organizing conventions for professional wrestling and sports entertainment, providing wrestling news and information via a global computer network. 
So they're definitely fighting back. They they <laughs> they can tell WWE's taking a shot at them. And to be fair, that's their biggest event of the year and brings them in the most money and brings a lot of independent wrestlers a huge paycheck. They're going to fight tooth and nail for it. Yeah, they are. And I think they, they, should. They, they should win it. I mean, they have used they it. it. It's clear WWE is just trying to do some shady, shiesty shit. Yeah, I think they will just for the fact that I can't think of any time WWE has used the term collect the collective. Like a like you mentioned, AEW could could argue, oh, we want the Nightmare Collective, so the collective should be our trademark. I can't think of anything WWE has done that was close to the collective. Yeah, retribution. <laughs> the collective. <laughs> We're retributing on what we need to collect. Bah. Bah. Siliana Gaspard, the widow of Shad Gaspard, filed court papers on Monday against the state of California, the city of Los Angeles, and Los Angeles County, according to the LA Daily News. The suit alleges negligence over her husband's death and dangerous condition of public property. Siliana alleges there were insufficient signs posted to warn of the dangers of swimming in this location, that lifeguards who tried to rescue her husband and sad son were understaffed and not properly trained, and that they did not bring proper equipment for the rescue. Siliana further alleges that the rescuers assisted his son, Aria, but left Shad Gaspard in the water to die. But he told them to leave him. Maybe he just wanted to get away from her. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm I'm kind of the same way. It's like you you can't build him up to be a hero because he told them to leave him and get his son and then sue them for not getting him. Yeah. Um I you know, hey, I don't blame her for trying. Go ahead if you can get it and if you earned it, fucking do it. I'm okay with that, you know. Honestly, and this is sad, but I'm sure she did this Monday because of all the money that's been raised for for John Huber's family. Oh, and I'm sure no money was raised for Gaspard, or very little in comparison. Yeah, but he wasn't a good person, so you know, fuck him. (laughs) Let's just be honest. Yeah, I just I'm I'm not buying this. I hate to say that, but I'm just not. And you know what? She had so much public outpouring and support for her and she got so many donate we 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 fucking said news reports and we commented on how much support she was getting from wrestlers and so many people contributed and donated. She's got shit ton of money from people. Mm. Just what the fuck is this, you greedy cunt? Yeah, you can tell it's a reach because she filed three different lawsuits hoping to win one, you know? Hoping yeah, well, to you know, hoping to settle. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's what it is. <laughs> she puts three out so she can settle on one. You know what I mean? It's the ocean. It's fucking dangerous to swim in. It's your risk every time you go in. Nobody posted signs saying that even... Yeah, I'm not going to say it. That's a cheap joke. I'm going to say that. But nonetheless... Like, fucking get out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Um, I thought Chad Jaspar's or Gaspard's life was, uh, I, you know, hey, this is the perfect example here. I thought his life was over-dramatized, and I think that John Huber's life was given the credit it deserved. Now, maybe Chad Gaspard was just as good of a person as John Huber, but I have not read, I have not heard those things before. Yeah, there definitely and wasn't like every wrestler way. in the industry coming forward with positive things to say after no. the fact. There was a lot of shock and disbelief. Plus, honestly, part of his death is his own fault, where none of John's is his own fault, at least as far as we know of. We don't we don't know what led to it, but Yeah. Don't well, the biggest, sw- biggest problem with Shed Gaspard is Kobe did it first. Yeah, that's true too. Plus, nobody knows who Chad Gaspard is. Who's Chad Asperger's again? Oh, jeez. I know. Pacey, I'm sorry. We got more legal news just than fucking Chad Asperger's. 
on December 17th, 